In the last year alone, headlines across the globe have warned about the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. It's becoming clear that our planet's protective shield is shifting, and we may be feeling the effects sooner than we think. Today we're diving deep into one of the most important scientific phenomena that could impact everything from GPS navigation to global power grids. What happens if Earth's magnetic poles flip, and what would that mean for us if this coincided with a massive solar flare event, just like the one that took place over 100 years ago, the Carrington event. Stick with me as we break down how this could change life on Earth and why this matters to you right now. There have been urgent calls citing recent news that directly seem to predict that protection afforded by the Earth's magnetic field is dissolving. We want to dive into what the pole shift could mean. So first of all, what are the poles? Well, there's many different types of poles. I've been to one of them, the South Pole. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the magnetic poles, not the axis of rotation on which the Earth spins. The Earth has two magnetic poles, and neither one is near the North or South geographic poles. And sometimes they actually move, and even it's possible to say that they can switch places. This may sound like science fiction, but it's happened many times in Earth's history. Now, we don't know exactly what causes these shift. We do know it's a process, however, that takes thousands of years to take place. Magnetic fields play a role in everyday life. And the Earth's magnetic field has been used for navigation for centuries. One of the biggest concerns during a pole shift, however, is the radiation exposure we'd get. When the Earth's magnetic field weakens, as it does during a pole shift, it can no longer shield the planet as effectively from solar and cosmic radiation. This means much more radiation could reach the surface, and that leads to increased cancer risks due to higher levels of UV radiation. That, in turn, could lead to genetic modifications in living organisms, including you. Though we still don't understand fully the exact impacts on human health. The good news is that Earth's atmosphere provides an additional layer of protection, but scientists are still monitoring it. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections from the sun indicate that the sun is an active star. But the effects of these solar flare incidents could lead to more than just effects on our health. It could lead to disruptions in technology. Satellites in orbit don't have an effective atmospheric blanket to protect them. And we, since we rely on heavily on everything from GPS satellites and telecommunication satellites as well. While GPS systems are not reliant on the Earth's magnetic field, although they still use a little bit of the magnetic field to do initial calibration, however, they could still face interference if satellite signals got affected by radiation, and that could indeed be affected for the low Earth orbiting satellites like the Starlink satellites. Those could see an effect because of the Earth's magnetic field shifting or even reducing dramatically. That would lead to less protection or less funneling of the cosmic radiation, the solar radiation, towards the Earth's poles, where nobody lives, and where relatively fewer of the satellites are placed. Now, the global communications network could suffer from increased radiation, possibly malfunctioning or having reduced lifespan. And what about power grids? With a weakened magnetic field, power infrastructure could be much more vulnerable to solar storms, which could lead to power outages or damage to electrical systems. It's more than just your compass going crazy. Power grid equipment, such as transformers, are very susceptible and vulnerable to solar storms. And even some animals can get affected in their migratory habits, including birds, turtles, and other sea creatures. Now, during a pole shift, animals that rely on it for navigation, like birds, turtles, and fish, could get lost or find their migratory patterns disrupted. This could cause ripple effects in ecosystems, as these species play an enormous role in maintaining food chains and biodiversity. Now, while it's hard to predict exactly what would happen, this could be one of the most powerful impacts on the natural world. Now, what if we were in for a case of double trouble or double jeopardy? What if we were going to have a scenario that happened 160 years ago? The Carrington event, occurring in 1859, was the most powerful solar storm ever recorded. It sent a coronal mass ejection towards the Earth. And while it didn't cause widespread damage back then, it would have catastrophic effects today. If a similar coronal mass ejection were to hit our planet today during a pole shift, we'd be in double jeopardy. We'd lose the protective shield of the magnetic field, which would already be compromised during the pole shift, and that would offer us less protection from solar radiation generally. A power grid collapse could occur when a massive solar storm like the Carrington event, knocking out electrical grids around the world, causing blackouts that could last for weeks or months. We don't have a very robust power infrastructure. Troublingly, we could protect our transformer systems with very simple 
and inexpensive solutions, but, but to date, power companies and even local politicians haven't been willing to devote the resources necessary to protect our fragile power distribution network. Now, imagine this combined losing power, increased solar and UV radiation, and the loss of communication satellites and GPS systems. The combination of these two events could severely impact modern civilization, really hampering all the technology we rely on every day. While the likelihood of this happening is low, it's a scenario we scientists need to keep studying and not do so in a panicked sense. Could a magnetic pole ship affect our weather? There is speculation of whether or not a pole shift could trigger climate change or environmental disasters, but there's no solid evidence linking pole reversals to major climate disruptions or mass extinctions. Some theories suggest the weakening magnetic field could influence the atmosphere and affect the ozone layer, but historical geological records don't show significant changes with the pole shifts. So while it would cause environmental chaos and technological disruptions, those would hopefully be much more short-term and temporary than long-term and catastrophic. So while Earth's magnetic field shifting may sound like science fiction, the reality is that it's something we've seen in the past and we're beginning to observe today. Now, whether or not it's truly moving much more faster than it has in the past has yet to be determined conclusively. But if you're curious about what a Carrington event could do to shape our future, be sure to check out my conversation with Hakim Olushei in our in-depth episode on the Carrington event. We dive deep into the science of solar storms, why they matter, and what we could do to prevent a Carrington event level disaster to affect our power and technological infrastructure. So click here for that video and don't forget to subscribe for more great science content from me, Brian Keating, Chancellor Distinguished Professor of Physics at UC San Diego.